So as I continually investigate this terrible grift crew and these very much evil that these people have done, there's a particular event that generated nearly $100,000. And I wanted to look into that and show you guys a little bit of the fruits of this grifter crew. Now, United in Yah is the Hallelujah Scriptures. It's the same criminal faces that are behind the Hallelujah Scriptures. It is all them. They're the same thing. Now, the video that you guys just saw was a promotion video that they put out. And supposedly, every one of those people at, were at this event. Now, they need to be warned. They need to be told. And they are still using this event to generate money, right? And so, this was in the June that they had this battle cry event, right? And this is truly now a battle cry because we have these people... Um, you know, this is look all photoshopped, right? Jump for joy, battle cry. This was what they did. And um, this is what they said. And you guys saw in the video who the people were that were in there. Now, if you want to get this event, since it's already come and gone, you can't do that. You have to donate to these people. And this entire event was about the orphans, widows, and lepers. They were supposed to help the orphans, widows, and lepers. Now, we just happened to have invoices of their bank account, account statements, for all of these months leading up to this event, and you can see nearly $100,000 that they extracted from the people of our Creator. What you don't see is you do not see any line items for the orphans, widows, and lepers anywhere, anywhere in their statements, any, at any point, any time I've never seen a line item for any one of this now these are the sponsors and these are the people that absolutely if you know them they should be told they should be told that they are affiliated and their names and their reputations are up on this right here and so everybody here I wouldn't say they are suspect but they need to understand that when you hook hands with people that are in the thievery ring and your name comes up on it, people are going to ask a lot of questions. I get a lot of questions about everybody on this list. This list is not what I'm concerned about. I do not care, and it's unfortunate that a lot of us do get blindsided, and a lot of us don't see the grift right before us, and so a lot of these people on this list are probably innocent. At this point, if they are still promoting the Hallelujah Scriptures after all this stuff that came out, these people are wolves in sheep's clothing. Because if you're going to send Torah keepers or sheep of our creator to a wolf, that makes you a wolf as well. 
Now let's take a look at this little um, event, right? This is what you could do. Um, this is what you can say, right? Windows 10 and 11 only. Um, please note these, these can only be video downloaded to your computer. At the moment, this is a video. Listen, this right here is a complete scam, right? This is a complete scam. They have taken this video and instead of putting it for free and helping everybody out with this, they charge everybody and they'll send you some sort of EXE with a code, right? Nothing is free with these people. They have extorted money on the backs of these people and how much do you want to donate, right? We had somebody that tried to attend one of their things and they put in $1 and they said the minimum was $50, right? Here it is. Here's the grift, credit card. How much do you want to donate? If it's not at least $50, don't expect to see anything from these grifting crews. Now, let's take a look at some of the money and some of the things that they extorted of the people here in this month. Now, we're going to take you, first of all, into January of 2022, even though the event was in June of 2022, because this gives us a baseline of how much money they were stealing at that time, because later it becomes quite a bit more. And so if we take a look at the... Um, deposits in January we have forty two thousand two hundred and eighty four dollars right and that's that's a lot right they're stealing a tremendous amount of money even at this point on these things now I'm gonna take us back into April and we can take a look that the deposits went up quite a bit sixty four thousand four hundred and forty oh nine so where as they get towards this event people are being more generous and they're donating more money now we're going to continue on and this is uh this is in june right so we have another fifty-six thousand. it is up compared to our baseline by a lot right and look at that they're ending balance when they're orchestrating this thing they already have three hundred thousand dollars now i am going to will i am going to put this out there that i believe that this house at the columbia lane what that they just bought a, ha, at least half of it came from this right here now let's continue on right into this and um this is in july we see we had forty five thousand dollars on this and i'm gonna make sense of this all real real soon and if you guys want to notice here that we have these marked right here donations and so we know that all of these came in that was also all part of it as well so these are these are, guys are monstrous donation people just tossing in now i'm going to go to the other account because they stole money in two separate accounts now i've gone over this ad nauseum that the hands of love is a another name of the hallelujah scriptures it's, it's a kind of a dba and um we have their baseline right here and this is in february Right, and so we had seventeen, or uh, excuse me, yeah, deposit seventeen thousand one hundred thirty-eight eighty-two. Now let's continue on and let's look at where it goes from here. We are in March right here, and so we're up a, a cool ten grand, easy. So it went from the baseline of uh, let's see, what do we have right there? Baseline of seventeen thousand dollars. So we are up an extra twelve thousand dollars in March as it leads to this event. Now, continuing on, um, we had another 15,000. That was in April. That doesn't look anything. That looks about back to normal. Um, and then we are up to 17,000, still pretty normal. And then I think that might have been it. Where, Miss Nicole, where is the month where they, did I miss that? May, June, and July. Yeah, May is $17,000. Now, let's look. Yeah, it might be on. The, it's probably on another email that I have. Now, let's take a quick look at this. Um, the statements from the two accounts we have and what I can come up with is is around seventy three thousand dollars that they extorted from everybody. Right. We're missing months. So it's probably close to one hundred thousand dollars. The main TD account we have um, is three months before they start promoting. It gives us a baseline of the forty four thousand dollars in deposits. And then we had April and June. Both those deposits, um, quite a bit. So roughly 36300 from those two months. And um, these are the accounts and how they grew, 
right? And in June, the, the account that I didn't show you that I will show you here in a second is 42,231. So this was the, that was the hands of love, right? That is the hands of love. So the majority of the money that they stole in went to Deborah Weiss personally that she just pulled right out of these accounts, right? And so we have the July deposits and it's back down to like nothing. So they went through the event and leading up to the event, look at that, 29, 15, 17, 42, right? They netted just in that account 42,000 um, bucks. So from this account, we have a total of 38,182 deposits. Uh, seems to be about the normal of 15 to 17. Now I'm gonna take us back into something. Did you have something for me, Mr. Cole? No, I was just gonna show you that the one in July after the event in mm -hmm. the hands of love went down to $7,000. Right, okay. So afterwards, all of these accounts went back down as well. So what I am looking at here is, um, I wanted to look at this one because we had the June and July, right? The event was in June. And um, since we were in June, right, the whole month of June, you'd think they would be at some point buying things for the orphans, widows, and lepers, right? This is, um, this is the whole point of this, right? So we had all the deposits, we see the donations, right? But then we go to the electronic payments. And they start the electronic payments here. And we have never been able to find an orphan, widow, or leper. We do see they bought a lawnmower, a warehouse lawnmower, for $457. And um, again, this is in June. This is the same month this is going on. You know, you see PayPal, Name.com, Amazon, um, USPS, iDigital Internet Services, right? You don't see anything and you don't see any checks. You would see like checks or them withdrawing, like sending a bank wire to other places. There's no such thing, right? Um, they're buying vehicle gas for $100 even, which is odd. That's an odd number for gas. Um, but there is nothing there. So let's continue on, right? So we see that they bought a Hallelujah Scripture cell phone that was $112. Um, you see all of this stuff, but you don't see any orphans, widows, or lepers. Surely, they would have something for the orphans, widows, or lepers since they're dumping all the money into this account, right? Since they're using this money, they're dumping it in the account, but we don't see any evidence of the orphans, widows, or lepers. And you can see how well they did in that month, right? This event, they started at $240,000, and as they run this event, they just banked a quick $47,000, right? Okay, so they didn't have any orphans, widows, or lepers in, in June. Well, let's take a quick look at July because surely after this event and they collected all this money, there must be the orphans, widows, and lepers. I'm sure of it, right? Um, and I blanked that one out. Um, those were all donations. You guys saw that. I, I put that writing back in there. You guys saw that. that was all, those were all donations, including this one right here. I blinked that out originally um, to save people from getting in trouble, but it's all out in the open now, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so let's continue on with this, right? So we're going to go find the orphans, widows, or lepers. We see all the money coming in for this month, right? July. This is the month after words, right? The big event came. It went. They had two days. Um, they grifted everybody. These are all the deposits. Now, where are the orphans, widows, or lepers? None of this stuff on this, these uh, papers that were written in hand that I blinked out said orphans, widows, or lepers. None of this. In fact, I verified all of this stuff. These checks are not orphans, widows, or lepers. None of this stuff is. This is a printing company. Nicole, do you remember what 383 was? The 12,359? That's for the lift, for the oh. forklift. Oh, the forklift? Oh, okay. Yeah, so they bought their heist or their little forklift for $12,359. But you don't see orphans, widows, or lepers, right? Nothing here. Um, so continuing on here, I'm going through the debit card purchase, electronic posts. I mean, you just, you don't see anything, right? There's nothing here. Where is the orphans and the widows and the lepers? You see nothing. And... Um, there's nothing here, guys. So you can see how rich they got. This month they made it from, uh, this month wasn't as good as last month, right? They didn't nail a 40. They were able to walk away at the end of the month uh, with a cool eight positive with all of their other bills being paid. So that's not bad, walking away with that, with the company that's supposed to be you know, handing this stuff out. Um, let's take a look at one other thing. Now, just to be thorough, because we are dealing with two accounts, the one account that I just showed you, 
was their main account, the one that's had $400,000, that had $400,000 when they stole all that money and telling people they couldn't ship their stuff and they extracted a whole bunch more money from people. Okay, let's look at, let's look at this one again. Now, this is the other count, the hands that love, right? And so, uh, what month are we? This is April. So starting in April, May, June, let's just go over, let's go over a little bit. Um, let's start right here. We are in June. Perfect. This is right where we're looking at, right? So their deposits and credits in this month, it went crazy. Look at that. Woohoo! 42,527. They grifted from the people. Amazing. So somewhere in here, you're going to find the orphans, widows, or lepers. I'm sure of it, right? And this is, um, this is a great month. Look at all. Look at all that money. I bet you everything. Most of that was this grift going down. All right. So here, do we have any orphans, widows, or lepers? Skype, Fiverr, PayPal, Fiverr, check card for New Jersey business services. We have all their food stores, all her crap that she's buying, all of her RV repair stuff. Okay, I see no orphans, widows, or lepers. After the month of them extorting all this money and her ending up with a cool 42 grand in this account. Okay, what else we got? We got Amazon Prime because she ships all of her stolen Amazon stuff to her. Um, more of her stuff. And I've gone through these videos ad nauseum, guys. I'm just being very, very thorough for anybody else who has not seen these. There are no orphans, widows, or lepers. There's just a bunch of enormous amounts of food bills. There are prostitutes as well. Um, and there are other indications as well as confirmation that there are more prostitutes. Okay, let's continue on. Um, we are going into it. Let's go into the last month. This is the July, the month after they ran this big event. There must be orphans and widows and lepers in here. Um, they're not. I'm just giving you guys a hook here. Okay, withdrawals and debits. Um, that's nothing. And nope, the service fees. Okay, let's go right here. Okay. Sorry, guys. Second page. Okay, orphans, widows, and lepers. We got para rubber, strictly for the birds. Motels, right? Book centers and J New Jersey business services. Email uh, grifting services they use to, eat, to grift everybody. I mean, it's, there's a little of everything, including the link to them with United and Yah and whatever they did $11 for, for whatever that was, just to make sure their credit card machine was working or something, right? But this is the link that United in Yah is the Hallelujah Scriptures. And this entire battle cry event was nothing more than to steal nearly $100,000 from people. And um, we're not seeing the orphans, widows, or lepers, guys. They're not in here. And we will be detailing this in the next few days. Um, I'm still working with my accountant, who, again, happens to be my beautiful wife. And she is needs to get me June and July's of these so I can go over them with you guys um, and line eye to them and see exactly what this crazy lady's buying. And it is just mad amounts of everything. Um, you would think that maybe Peace and Plenty would be like some orphanage or something, but it's not. And uh, wow, did she, how much did she spend there? Wow. Oh, it's a book place. She spent five hundred ninety dollars. She's probably stealing books so she can. Oh, maybe not. Is it? Yeah. Sorry. Peace and plenty, Auckland. I don't know what it is. Maybe books. Whatever it is, it's five hundred ninety bucks, and that I guess it goes in uh, for U.S. stuff. Much better. So, guys, as we do this, one more time, let me take you over to the Messianic Hall of Shame. If you want the evidence downloads, the evidence downloads are right here at the top of the site. I leave links in all of the videos. Sorry for my timer going off, right? There's video. That's where you can get the evidence, right? This is 13 years of an investigation that I've done over the last three to four months on the Hallelujah Scripture Grifters. These are the people that have been parading around like they are the uh, saints of the world that they're just really changing the world. And when you look at this, they are not changing anything. There are no orphans, widows, or lepers. They have stolen all sorts of stuff. Oh, okay. Peace and Plenty in Auckland is a, uh, it's a booking company. It's, it's a hotel. It's a hotel. It's a really nice hotel. So she spent a, <laughs> she went and celebrated her stolen stuff at, at Peace and Prosperity in Auckland. And it's a motel. So I guess she uh, scored on her big score. But guys, these are the evidence. And if you want them, it is there. Guys, we cannot take a blind eye to this. A lot of people will comment and go, oh, we shouldn't be doing this. Yeah, we should absolutely be doing this. These people went and ruined people's lives for 13 years 
and they're a bunch of bullies and they're a bunch of evil people and they will keep on stealing from the people of our creator until somebody stops them. So we all need to pick up the New Jersey criminal district attorney's office and call them and put tips in. We all need to go to the SFO. That is, you can just do a, a New Zealand SFO. Start reporting this stuff with me. Guys, I'm reporting this. I'm going to continue reporting this. I'm going to do this until these people are stopped. They're stealing from the people of our creator, and they're not giving free Bibles away. That is the thing. If, if At the end of the day, if they were really giving free Bibles away, maybe we could let them off the hook for being complete criminals. But they're not. They're not giving anything away. Deborah Allen, Deborah Weiss, Deborah Wessel, Shalom Allen, Shalom Weiss, whatever you want to call them. These are all names they put on documents. These people are mysterious. These people are crazy. And these people are stealing on the, from everybody. And they're doing great evil on the backs of all of this. So guys, let's not put up with this anymore. Let's call these people out. Let's make these people stop hurting the people of our creator. And somebody said that I was letting this little girl man, Max, off the hook because he's a complete cuck to all of this. Max needs to be arrested. He needs a 7 to 14 year span as well. Deborah Weiss needs a 7 to 14. They need to have little tattoo teardrops under their eyes by the time they're done for two fives, at least. These people are criminals and have done that level of disrespect and evil at the name of our creator, and it needs to be stopped. It's up to all of us to do this and put this together as a people of our creator. Don't be weak and say this doesn't need to be exposed. Don't be weak and say that, oh, we should just turn a blind eye. Because if we turn a blind eye, these criminals will continue doing this great evil until the end of time. And we really need to get the word of our creator out like they were supposed to be doing for 13 years. And they deceived the world. Like, the, like one of the owners of the company says, they are not giving Bibles away. They are a business. They are not a ministry. They are not a ministry. They are not a ministry. That is what he says. And that is correct. And that is the only truth that comes out of these lying demons' mouths.